गुड मॉर्निंग कंटिन्यू एडवांस फाउंडेशन इन दूरेस्ट चैप्टर इज पाइल फाउंडेशन एंड इन पाइल फाउंडेशन फर्स्ट टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट लैटरली पाइल इन दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड देन Based on the model of something reaction. Uh, okay, so uh, first we start with the Winkler model. This is one of the oldest model uh, used uh, uh, in the analysis of lateral loaded pile and many other. Uh, okay, so Winkler uh, idealization represents the the soil uh, is replaced by a closely spaced. Uh, the spring closely spaced and discrete linearly elastic springs okay uh, for example if you consider a uh, this is a foundation maybe a raft or a footing resting on a, a continuous soil medium uh, how the winkler uh, idealization is that it is replaced by this soil is replaced with the help of uh, this is a closely spaced spring okay these are placed within exactly the loading okay and the the footing here or a raft is replaced by a a foundation slab model as a beam so these are a closely spaced uh, ring okay they are uh, springs and they are linearly they are linear and Uh, they are closely spaced and discrete okay. so the compression of each spring they are independent okay uh, depend upon the how much load it uh, directly resists so springs are under the compression within the loaded area okay uh, winkler as if that the foundation model uh, the foundation is subjected to a partially distributed surface loading that is a q the spring will not be affected beyond a loaded region okay if you see the same uh, 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 the foundation and the soil you can see here the loading is uh, up for a small area okay on the soil mass so if i uh, replace this soil mass with the spring outside also so you can see here outside the loading plate the soil is replaced by the closed springs and within the loading plate these are the springs which are placed here so the, when the load is applied so compression of spring takes place within that loading outside springs are not affected so this is a one of the most important assumption here okay that the surroundings are not affected only those springs which are under the area they get compress okay uh, this also be one of the limitation but can be further modified we'll see so using this uh, the pressure deflection reaction can be calculated so what is the reaction given by offered by this spring to the loading is suppose the pressure p which is in representing the suppose uh, the x and the y k times whatever the deflections here so you can see these springs are compressed by a w uh, which also function of x and y in the suppose uh, direction of x and other direction is y so in in a, in the simplicity the reaction is nothing but the so k while is a constant here for this medium or we also call it as a uh, spring constant or a stiffness of the spring that is the correct word okay uh, this uh, concept was modified by the terzaghi in 1955 introduced the coefficient of modulus uh, coefficient mo modulus of subgrade reaction that is the ks okay and uh, that is again it is the same but it is represented as the q is whatever the external load and here y is the deflection of uh, the spring because of this load so it depends upon this case depends upon the width of footing 
शेप ऑफ फुटिंग एंड एम्बेडमेंट डेप्थ ऑफ फुटिंग इट्स नॉट सिंपली ए क्यू अपॉन वाई इट ऑल्सो डिपेंड्स अपॉन द के वैल्यू दैट इज द वॉट इज द शेप वट इज द एम्बेडमेंट डेप ओके एंड स्पेशली द वट इज द विथ मॉडल ऑफ सब ग्रेड रिएक्शन ऑल्सो रिटर्न एज आई मीन इन द सेम दीज आर ओनली द चेंज इन द सिम्बॉल क्यू बाई डेल्टा के एस इज कॉल्ड एज कोविशंट ऑफ सब ग्रेड रिएक्शन और सिंपली सब ग्रेड रिएक्शन ओके वेन इट इज इन हॉरिजेंटल डायरेक्शन देन वी ऑल्सो कॉल इट एज अ के एच इन दैट केस सो इट इज फोर्स पर लेंथ क्यू दैट इज द यूनिट सो क्यू इज द बेरिंग प्रेशर एंड डेल्टा इज द सेटलमेंट अब दिस के एस और के एच वेदर इट इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट नो हाउ इट वेरीज वेरिएशन ऑफ के एच और के एस मॉडल सब सब ग्रेड रिएक्शन कैन बी ऑप्टेन फ्रॉम ए सॉइल रिएक्शन वर्सेज डिफ्लेक्शन सो ही सॉइल रिएक्शन इज द पी एंड डिफ्लेक्शन इज वाई सो इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज पी डैश वाई कर वी कैन प्लॉट ए कर्स ऑल्सो विच रिप्रेजेंट दिस वेरिएशन okay uh, we'll see the figure which shows the how uh, relationship between the p and y and the slope of that uh, relation is the coefficient of horizontal subgrade reaction okay now you can see here uh, it's just like a stress uh, strain similarly here the reaction versus a displacement curve and you observe that uh, it initially it is a straight line okay and then it is a curve so if suppose i know some maximum value then half or one third of that is a linear portion out of the maximum value okay half to one third is a linear okay so the tangent modulus okay again it is a uh, pressure versus displacement just like a stress strain so this represented tangent modulus can be used because it is passing through the origin <coughs> and uh, for soil reaction exceeding this point okay value then maybe second value can be used you can take any one point on the core and join to the origin you can join then it is a second modulus can be used okay so this shows that uh, kh value for first linear portion and kh value for every uh, the portion the point beyond this linearity is not uniform okay uh, because this distance is a uh, this strain is a or uh, displacement is a small so therefore kh value is a not uniform it is a non linear beyond that certain point for a granular soil terzaghi recommends that the case uh, be considered directly proportional to the depth as we have seen that here uh, that uh, this relationship is a non linear <coughs> similarly as the depth grows depth increases then this relation is also uh, uh, can be expressed you can see here k is equal to nh into x so this x is gives the depth just like a z what generally we call it as z so nh is called as a constant of the subgrade reaction and it function we x is represent a depth and this shows how the kh value changes with respect to the depth now we'll come to the with this uh, the basic of the winkler theory and modulus of subgrade reaction uh, let us uh, start with the laterally loaded pile uh, laterally loaded structure uh, subjected to the a the lateral load with a greater intensity than the vertical load for example we you know the transmission towers you can see here where it's compared to the dead load the, the wind load is a very high of course with the high rates because of this wind load the, <coughs> the the load comes on the foundations either in terms of a, a direct load or a moment which is a maximum similarly for a, a structure also which is a very uh, high height okay wind load is also important as well as the vertical load 
so you can it can be idealized now this uh, when it comes to the foundation suppose uh, this is a pile uh, then there are two conditions are important that the fixity conditions they are called as fixity condition first is the free head pile in this pile is a single pile or a number of pile their top of the pile is uh, what is called as a free head okay uh, it means not restrained at the top by a counter clockwise moment or any other external opposite load so this is uh, this top is ready to move okay similarly for the structure also it can be analyzed here a pile okay suppose many times what happen the pile on one side suppose the uh, wind load is on this side this will try to lift up so there is a possibility of the uplift load also so there is a vertical load and there is the uplift load so net load vertical load can be represented as this so this is uplift and this is the vertical load now the lateral load because of say wind pressure will try to deflect the top of the pile and this is the deflected shape the blue color so you can see here the head of the pile is shifted okay by certain distance that is called as a y and we call it as a deflection if you see here or in this case also a the 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 top of or the head of the pile has a certain slope you can see the slope this slope is a theta okay so in a free hand condition it shows a deflection as well as the a, a, a rotation of the head uh this is with respect to suppose a load and how the moment takes place okay suppose uh, uh, this is the condition this is like a pipe many times we we see this a uh, such type of a pipe carrying a fuel or a gas okay which is placed certain distance above the ground level and this uh, pipe will exert a moment that is the load whatever the horizontal load is coming on this multiplied by this lever arm so that gives the moment plus vertical load and this is the lateral load okay so here the uh, the combination of the lateral load as well as the moment okay because the load is placed at a high height so here also the head is free and the pile shape take a deflected it is fixed at the, the bottom side it is embedded so okay so this is fixed so it takes a deflected shape and y value is uh, deflected by a distance and here you can see the rotation okay so this is called as a free head condition now we'll see what is the fixed head condition so you can see the fixed head condition suppose uh, these are the two piles and a pile cap which is there at the top vertical load and the lateral load here the fixed end condition means uh, the top will deflect by y but the slope here you can see that particularly at the head okay the slope is zero it means the tip was earlier a vertical this tip is vertical it remained vertical okay even after the deflection okay so fixed means there is a deflection but the rotation is restrained so earlier the theta value whatever the deflection slope value here it is a the theta is zero and sub and slope is also zero so this is called as a fixed head condition many times this condition also exists restrain the 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 top head, uh, the, the top head of the pile so that the rotation is uh, restricted okay so what are the different methods uh, for the lateral uh, load calculations particularly for a vertical pile the different method first is the bridge hansen method uh, this method is applicable for a, a c5 soil we call it, call it as a matrix soil okay it is also applicable for a layered uh, soil different layers either of clay sand or combination can be applicable uh, but it rest the disadvantage of this method that it is applicable for a short pile okay i will see what is the meaning of the short pile 
but it is useful for a short short point. Uh, the solution involved a trial and error method. Okay. Second method is the Brooms method. This is also one of the uh, uh, important method and extensively used. Okay. It is based on again the earth pressure. The upper is also based on the earth pressure. Uh, it, for a cohesive soil and, co it, uh, co and cohesionless soil, it is applicable for both. And it is also applicable for both the condition. We have seen the fixity condition, free head and the fixed head condition. Disadvantage that not applicable for a layered soil as it is a short pile generally used. Okay. Expected to be a the layer is also a, a homogeneous in that depth. Uh, it does not consider the C5 soil, it consider uh, the homogeneous soil. Okay. Then the third method the method is based on the acceptable deflection at working load means the deflection at the, uh, the uh, pile takes place so we need the acceptable uh, limit okay under the working load so this is uh, uh, under this category there are two uh, methods so first one is the modulus of subgrade reaction the method is based on modulus of subgrade reaction it was first given by the Rees and Matlock so one of the famous method and quite useful in uh, practice okay uh, uh, of course it depends upon the particular situation soil act as a series of linear springs okay in this method it is a uh, the method is relatively simple okay there is no trial and error so direct something like closed form solution also gives you the uh, uh, deflections uh, uh, okay uh, it incorporates the factors such as a non-linearity, variation of K, okay, separate modulus with the depth in a layer system. So it quite represents the uh, actual condition in the field. Okay, disadvantage uh, is that it ignores the continuity of soil. A deep uh, strata is mostly homogeneous. Uh, then it has a small restriction on that. Uh, this is the main one of the disadvantage. KH is a unique property but uh, depends upon the foundation size and uh, the deflection. Okay, it's not only the uh, depends upon the, the depth. Second approach is the elastic uh, approach given by the polus and it is a uh, based on it is the most uh, theoretical method and it, it is more realistic approach. Uh, okay. So this does not consist, consist of a series of spring. So therefore there is no direct uh, application of that. And it gives the solution for varying cage with a layer system also it is useful. Only the disadvantage, disadvantage is that it is difficult to determine the approach, uh, uh, appropriate strain in a field problem and corresponding to the soil models. The restriction with respect to the strain is there in this method. Ah. So we start with the third approach that is the uh, subgrade reaction approach and uh, method given by the reason Matlock will follow. So first we go through the basic about the subgrade reaction approach. Okay. So this approach treats the beam as an elastic uh, foundation as we discussed earlier and uh, uh, this beam takes the bending shape and uh, then the spring get compressed okay the spring compression of the spring is discrete that is the beam and linear that is independent so this is a beam uh, with a flexural um, uh, modulus of the ei and these are the closed space spring now this concept we use it for a pile let us see the pile subjected to lateral load and the moment so when it uh, because of this the, the two load it get deflected so you can see the this blue color is a deflected shape when it is deflected it offer a resistance you can see in the green line so you you get a resistance on this side and you get a resistance on the bottom side okay so uh, this uh, 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 resistance or a reaction is suppose replaced by a series of spring so on the upper side it is on the one side 
bottom side it is on the other side okay so this is how the the a, a beam on elastic foundation is used here for a, a laterally loaded pile with a spring uh, uh, representing the reaction for the top and the bottom portion so this uh, core is called as elastic core and everywhere the deflection we can find it from the this is the uh, Wiggler's concept that is kh is equal to p upon y or p is equal to kh into y. Now uh, what is the differential equation of this elastic curve of this okay so we will go just go through the, the basic about this uh, how to develop the this uh, differential equation. And let us say this is a pile it's a show here at a distance vertical distance x and deflection is y okay so y is the deflection of pile at depth x and slope of this deflector shape is called as s which is nothing but a dy by dx once we know the deflection the first derivative with respect to the depth gives you the is the slope okay now consider this deflected portion is a small deflection per se this is the original pile and it is a deflected shape okay so it is enlarged here so you can see this is the original pile suppose this is the enlarged portion is the original pile and this is a deflected shape okay so that portion is moved away from the pile you can see the top portion okay and the deflected part is moved away from this vertical portion okay so uh, we consider the two points one is the a on the pile before deflection and b okay on that part of the the pile so after deflection the a become a dash okay and b become a b dash so a is away by deflection y suppose and b is away by y plus dy okay so total deflection is y plus dy the angle here if i draw a tangent then angle with respect to the a, a line which is drawn parallel to the this pile is a theta then angle at this point it changes that is theta plus delta theta so what is delta theta if i draw a, a for this curvature if i draw a radius which interacts at certain point so this angle is d theta and this length is dx so this length is dx this length is dy so if i consider this triangle okay then dy by dx is the sine theta okay you see the triangle this is b dash a dash and this point okay so sine theta is equal to dy upon dx okay as theta being a small then we can write the sine theta as a theta okay so uh, from the curvature uh, if i want to write down what is the, the the distance or length dx we also can write r into d theta r theta so theta is a d theta so that is the curvature length so 1 upon r we can write is a d theta by dx okay and now substituting this theta as a di by dx here in this theta then uh, in this equation 1 by r is equal to the theta is dy by dx so it is a second order okay uh, of the differential equation of y and second order differential equation of x so 1 upon r is equal to second order of y with respect to the x okay now we know the moment curvature relationship that is m by i is equal to f by y is equal to e by r so as it is a curvature is there so we take m by i is equal to e by r therefore uh, m upon this e is taken here e i is equal to 1 by r now substituting this 1 by r from this differential equation then m by i e i is equal to this uh, differential equation of y with respect to the x so therefore if i write a moment m is equal to ei okay differential equation second order of uh, uh, deflection with respect to the x so this is how we get a 
a, a, the expression so this is a basic concept how the a, a, a moment expression is uh, derived from a deflection simple deflection why similarly the uh, this expression can be obtained for a shear force reactions okay like this so for a shear force uh, similarly if you take another di differentiation of the earlier expression then you get ei and here the differentiation of y is a cube third order with respect to the depth third order similarly if you take another differentiation then i get from shear force to a soil reaction so here the power of the deflection is fourth order with respect to the depth okay so the flex ei is called as the flexure rigidity of pile and soil reaction at any distance x can be obtained from the, uh, the earlier winkler's concept that is uh, therefore p is equal to k h y and uh, 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 here <coughs> this expressions this indicate actually a soil reaction earlier our moment equation shear force and all they are are, are the basically a our uh, something like a, what we discuss in a our mechanics of solid and here we are applying a concept of our a, a soil reactions so uh, substituting this p as khy here okay and here minus term indicates that they are a p uh, relation between p and y is inversely proportional there and then substituting here and taking it inside so it become ei deflection uh, differentiation of deflection fourth order plus this khy after taking inside is equal to zero or this fourth order y taking divided by ei is equal to zero so it is a difference this one is a differential equation of the elastic curve uh, this is one of the most important uh, expressions okay and solution of this differential equation of a lateral loaded pi lies in the determination of the cage with respect to the uh, depth okay so if you know the cage with respect to the depth okay for a given uh, position of the x substituting that value you can derive that ex expression now here we'll move to the uh, lateral deflection of a single pile in a cohesionless soil by subgrade reaction approach okay so here uh, after studying the the basic part about uh, deflected shape and elastic curve now we'll move to the these two conditions free head and the fixed head condition first by the free head pile and method of course given by the reason matlab so uh, considering uh, this lateral deflection of single pile by free head pile you know free head the deflected shape gives a slope uh, of the top of the pile or pile head at the surface by an angle theta so figure shows this deflection the so figure shows uh, for a, a different curve okay as a deflected shape means slope moment shear and the soil reaction so the pile is subjected to these two uh, say qg and suppose a moment the deflected shape is this way here tp says that there is a slope so slope is not zero okay this is the a free head pile and it shows a deflection like this and it takes in the other side again changes the side and finally again the zero similarly the slope as we have seen the expression earlier that is a dy by dx it gives you the a variation of the slope okay similarly also we have discussed about the this expression moment okay so we get the moment here that is a free head <coughs> and then slightly increase and then again decreases goes on opposite side and against then it diminishes 
similarly a shear also you will find here uh, the shear uh, vari variations and you can see the uh, again the fourth order this is the second order third order fourth order that is for the soil reaction okay soil reaction as it is a free end it is a zero then it increases and closely decreases at zero at the bottom so this is the fourth order equation so if you see the this uh, deflected uh, shape or any deflection at any point x how many parameters on which the deflection depend first is the depth second is called as stiffness factor third is called as a total length then uh, modulus of, uh, or coefficient of some current reaction or modulus of some current reaction and then uh, the flexural modulus that is ei and the application of the loads okay so total one two three four five six seven okay if i split then it become total eight parameters out of this uh, these two are the, uh, the external loads and uh, these two are the dimensions okay, of the pi so all these details uh, of these parameters given what is x depth related depthness l is length of pi kh we write it as a as earlier we discussed nh into the uh, x so x is the vertical distance okay whereas this nh is called as a constant of the subgrade reaction and kh is the modulus of subgrade reaction by stiffness and these are the loads so elastic uh, deflection is small as compared to the pile dimension as we know that pile may be 5 meter 7 meter 10 meter but a deflected portion that may be maximum at the top so that will be in very less maybe some was a 5 meter pile or 7 meter pile then deflection will be in some mm single digit or double digits also okay so for such a behavior the principle of superposition is used yes so deflection takes place because of the lateral load qg and the moment so these two effects are calculated by separately okay or independently and then they add it together so we call it as a principle of superposition so here it is represented as why uh, you can see using principle of superposition why a is because effect and why b so why a is because of the load external load qg and why b is because of the moment so this is the deflection at a depth x okay it is a lateral deflection as we discussed because of the external load qg and because of the moment okay so from earlier uh, the, uh, the the parameters y a is because of the load so in earlier parameter if i take it uh, the load parameter the remaining are the x t l k h and e i similarly reflection at b is because of the moment then the parameters are same okay so this uh, equation 2 and 3 contains the two functions of a diff uh, two different functions of, of the same terms the total six terms two dimensions force and length are involved okay so uh, four independent non dimension terms can be determined by the reason matlab okay so based on these terms as we discussed is seen in the bracket okay uh, a non dimensional forms are uh, given by the reason matlab first is for a deflection you can see the deflection because of the lateral load it is written in this form then you can see the x upon t okay we'll see what is the meaning of this the the, the vertical distance depth uh, any depth x with respect to stiffness factor so this also called as a, a ratio z when x is a maximum that is l upon t z max and we get kh t4 upon ei okay so similarly for uh, this is for ya then we can write for ya p why 
okay it means uh, these two expressions we are uh, expressing these terms y a and y b in terms of a, a dimensionless form similarly for y b because of the the moment okay x t when x become l l t and the same parameters the first part is the y a due to the qg is called as the a y deflection coefficient for a lateral load okay second part this part is because of the moment that is a deflection b due to the moment okay and uh, <coughs> this term is called as the by that is a deflection coefficient for a moment this x by t is called as the z that is a depth coefficient x is any depth and t is the stiffness factor when x become l it is the z become z max there is a maximum length so z also is maximum maximum depth coefficient so this is the depth coefficient and this is the maximum depth coefficient this is important the last term kh t4 upon e y is also called as a function of uh, uh, the uh, phi x called as a soil modulus function soil modulus function okay so if i substitute this uh, total deflection at any depth uh, y earlier this expression uh, any any depth x y y b so we can superimpose these two terms okay so from this if i find out y a then a y multiplied by this q g t cube divided by e y so a y into q g t cube by e e i similarly for a y b you can substitute multiply this two and divided by e so this is the expression we get that uh, deflection at any depth okay is obtained by the principle of superposition if we know that this coefficients then we can find out the other values are the known a okay? total deflection at any depth of a pi subjected to the lateral load similarly we can find out a, a moment also moment at that that depth uh, x depth is ma plus mb and that is given as qg as we have seen that earlier that uh, deflection then uh, slope then the moment so uh, the differentiation is carried out okay <coughs> so uh, uh, if, if you see from the first expression that was a uh, cubic part here and that is relative stiffness is cube and it is a second order uh, relative stiffness is second order that is for the due to moment in a deflection if i take the first suppose the slope equation what is the slope at that point that depth x sa plus sb then that uh, the coefficient okay a become as because of slope and b become a bs because of slope so cube because uh, the slope is nothing but but the, again differentiation of the y okay so therefore that cube become a square here okay and earlier that square become a power is one of that relative stiffness okay so this is how the one by one is uh, derived okay and uh, uh, next if you see here the moment equation okay you can see the moment equation again the power is reduced here to the one so qgt into am now either uh, the coefficient is the am because m is because of the moment and bm because of this moment okay so first is because of the lateral load second is because of the the moment okay so the power is reduced here it become t and here the uh, the t is reduced and only the mg term is left the sequence is actually the slope here then the moment and then comes the shear force the shear force at that point x is va plus vb so the uh, the the factor a is because of the slope so we use the, the symbol slope uh, in a shear force you can see again uh, there is a further reduction in the power of this t that is stiffness okay so uh, from this moment equation if you come to the shear force okay, 
so the t power is reduced here so here it is again 1 upon t okay and these are the two the parameters uh, that is with respect to the shear force so av and bv are the deflex uh, these are the coefficient for the shear force okay similarly for a soil reaction uh, you can see here again the t power is reduced here so it is 1 upon t here and this t becomes a t square so uh, uh, in this way the the expressions are written for first for deflection then for slope then uh, then for moment then for shear force and reaction now referring the earlier equation that is a differential equation for elastic curve first for a and then b okay that y a and y b uh, are uh, from the earlier equation and uh, substituting z as a uh, x upon t then uh, substituting this y a y b from this earlier expression so uh, y a is a y q g t cube upon e i and y b q g t cube upon uh, this y a both are y a uh, a uh, a y and uh, substituting this uh, x uh, x as a uh, in terms of z and t so t is outside and it is uh, x is replaced by the z to the power 4 okay so this x uh, uh, t to the power 4 will come on this side we'll take the common terms okay and taking on the right hand side okay so this reduces further to uh, differential chain equation y uh, d4 for a y d to the power uh, dz to the power 4 k h the power uh, stiff uh, this t to the power 4 e r i into a y both are a y is equal to 0 uh, and uh, uh, simplifying that so we get the expression that uh, this terms uh, that complete ratio uh, uh, that is this ei uh, what ei get can uh, ei is on the right hand side it will go on the right hand side so remaining part kh uh, then t cube upon ei so that uh, gives us a function called as a phi x okay so that equation reduces to t for a y dz square a y to phi x zero similarly we can write also for a uh, the b y uh, that is for the deflection co uh, coefficient b y similarly it can also return okay so solving these two equations by a finite difference method reason matlock has obtained the values of a y b y so in this case it is a deflection that's why a y then for a slope a s b s then for a moment uh, the coefficients a m b m then for shear force a b b b and for a reaction a p b p okay and these are expressed for a various values of uh, the z z is a, nothing but the uh, depth x any depth x divided by the stiffness factor so all these are Compiled in a table, I try to show you in a table that how this value varies with respect to the depth. So you can see the, uh, the values, these coefficients uh, for a different depth z. You can see the z varies first uh, interval of z is equal to x by t 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, it is up to the 1, then you know, interval of 1.2, 1.4, then 2, 3, 4, 5. It is up to the 5 and uh, beyond that these coefficients are uh, does not change particularly deflection okay so almost the deflection is the same so uh, it is the most cases that the pile is uh, greater than uh, phi 2 therefore the the coefficients given on these are uh, are up to the fine so you can see first coefficient is for a a y i just enlarge here this is uh, for a uh, 2.435 okay this is at the 
the top of the pile or head of the pile or we can say pile is at the ground level then at, it is at the ground surface where x value is uh, zero so therefore this x by t is z is also zero so first value is uh, zero okay uh, then these values are given here similarly for a second value you can see uh, for a slope okay then you can see uh, for a moment you can see the moment okay as it is a free end the moment at the top at the pile head is zero and then slightly increasing to and maximum towards the fixed end you can see at the end it is a negative because it has changed the, the directions okay then for a, a you can see for uh, next is for a shear force uh, that is av I'll just enlarge this <laughs> okay so at uh, the tip you can see uh, the coefficient is a one that is where the slope is maximum and then for the reaction so these are the all a coefficients similarly there are the b coefficients that i'll show you so you can see now the, the coefficient that is the b coefficients that is first for a, a deflection first column you can see for a, a deflection okay and the second column is uh, for a slope then uh, for a moment okay and then shear force and the reactions so you can see here so uh, you can see similarly a by coefficients at the uh, different depth okay uh, first uh, you can see it for the initially it is for the deflection uh, and then the slope then the bending moment okay similarly the shear and the reactions okay uh, earlier we uh, we discussed about the t that is the relative stiffness factor okay so how that relative stiffness factor is defined <coughs> uh, for cohesionless soil this uh, modulus uh, increases with the depth so therefore <coughs> this uh, k h that is n h into x uh, into uh, phi of x which is equated this combined is equated with the z x by t uh, <coughs> then we can substitute z as x by t <coughs> and uh, substituting the phi as we discussed earlier okay. so uh, it is uh, kh kh is uh, defined as nh into x and writing only the coefficient uh, not k here for a phi x that is t4 upon e i earlier from the earlier expression and solving for this t so finally we get t is equal to e i upon the nh that is <coughs> coefficient uh, for the subgrade reaction the one fifth of the power so pile uh, z max is less than two is uh, behave as a rigid pile whereas z max is equal to five to ten okay deflation deflection does not changes and thereafter therefore the region met lock method is applicable for a long pile <coughs> So as a, from deflection shape which we have seen earlier uh, that uh, this uh, there is a hardly any change in the, uh, the deflection as compared to the deflection at the at the, at the, the head of pile. So you can see when this uh, uh, z value increases uh, beyond the phi. So the in the bottom portion the deflection is very very less so therefore uh, you can see here the z max is fine the less than two is called as a rigid pile in a rigid pile there is only a deflect uh, it is a rotation completely takes place okay uh, rather than bending of that pile whereas <coughs> z max with five to ten the pile get deflected okay and this deflection changes with respect to the x so the method is applicable region metallic method is applicable for l is equal to phi t or z is it should be greater than equal to or phi so this is all uh, we talk about uh, a free head pile and now uh, we discuss about the fixed head pile 
the uh, the basic uh, concept is the same as we discussed earlier okay so for a fixed pile the slope at the ground is zero so deflection y axis uh, uh, but deflection is there which is not zero you can see the pile here okay you can see the deflection but here the tip of pile is not rotated so therefore it is a vertical okay so at the ground surface <coughs> this uh, slope is zero s is equal to zero at x is equal to zero now substituting the equation of this slope that is s a plus s b because s a because of lateral load s b is because of the moment at ground m g <coughs> so the earlier expression we can write here in terms of this coefficient a s and b s okay q g t square e i and m g t upon e i now this slope is zero <coughs> okay and then equating these two and writing the this coefficient as a s upon b s m g q g t okay now from the table we have seen that when uh, x uh, is equal z is zero okay the a s value from the table as we have seen earlier is 1.623 and b s value is 1.75 so this is at the ground surface or that the the top of the or pile head so substituting these two value here we get the mg upon qgt is equal to 0.93 now what, uh, what is the meaning of this the, the meaning is that mg is equal to 0.93 times of qgt that is the counter clockwise moment is uh, applied here to keep this uh, the portion t uh, the top of the pile as a, a vertical so to prevent any the slope an additional moment is a, a, a counterclockwise moment is required and that is in the opposite direction that's why it is called as a uh, mg is equal to minus 0.93 in, into qg into t okay so any pile is subjected to the external moment uh, even the external moment but the counterclockwise moment is necessary so this mg value we find out and substitute you can see here when we substitute both are in terms of the equation become in terms of the qg so uh, if i write a deflection equation yx is equal to y uh, a plus y b and this is a deflection equation that is qg t cube and mg t square okay so this uh, yx is written as a uh, first part it's a y and second part b y okay here mg now you are substituting from this equation minus 0.93 qg into t and therefore taking out the common terms finally we get a y uh, this minus term 0.933 b y qg t cube upon e i so when pile is uh, <coughs> the, it is a fixed head, head the rotation is not allowed the deflection takes place okay so that deflection is obtained from this expression <laughs> similarly uh, uh, it is, this is for a deflection now we can also write for other equation for example the moment equation what will the moment equation so we know the moment equation ma plus mb you will do uh, the coefficient am and bm qgt and mg okay now substituting this mg as minus 0.93 qgt <coughs> and uh, taking the common so it is again the same bracket instead of that uh, the deflection for coefficient now this is the a uh, moment coefficient am and bm okay into qgt so in this way you can find out the moment at a different depth deflection at a different depth. similarly we can write for the a uh, <coughs> slope is of course a zero we can write down the shear force equation the in a shear force this will be replaced by a b and this will be replaced by the b b in a reaction it is replaced by a p this is replaced by b p okay and outside part uh, will be as as per their terms 